This is my favorite resort in all of Orlando. Cabana Bay Beach Resort. And today we're gonna be walking around so I can show you guys some of my favorite things that this resort offers. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. We're gonna walk around Cabana Bay Beach Resort today and I'm gonna show you guys some things that make this my favorite resort in all of Orlando. And you guys are gonna to get to tag along. So, if you guys are up for it, now. Let's take a closer look. I love the posters they have for the different amenities here. The Atomic Tonic is a bar they have here. Hopping into the elevator here. These are some of the other places. The Bayliner Diner. They have a pizza to go. The Atomic Tonic is a poolside bar. They also have the Hideaway, the Swizzle Lounge, Starbucks, and the Galaxy Bowl. Now they have different buildings here in the main courtyard area. The Thunderbird, Castaway, and the Starlight. Right here is Castaway. On the other side over there, Starlight. And this is Thunderbird. Kind of reminds you of those old school hotels that you would stay at in the 60s. You know, old school, mid-century, modern theme. And that's a big part of my wife Abby and I's style. We love mid-century modern. Our house actually looks like Cabana Bay on the inside. So every time I'm here, it, it feels like I'm just at home. I love the way they have the name of the building written on the side. Now it will light up at night. Total neon. Very old school right here next to the, the pool. They have the Bay Pavilion and the Beach Pavilion. Kind of a first come first serve. And they have some grass here. Sometimes they will show a movie right here in this grassy area next to the pool. This is Castaway, this area here. Now you will hear some throwback music while you are near the pool and you will also hear some music of today. So it's a nice, good blend. Now along the side of the pool here, they do have cabanas. I'm not sure if these are first come, first serve or you can rent them out. That's definitely something to look into if your family is into that for the day. This is one of the two pools they have here. The other pool has a lazy river. This one has a very cool slide and it's right next to the Atomic Tonic bar. And I love the slide at this pool because it looks like one of those old school high dive diving boards. You see what I'm saying? The different levels there. But that's actually a slide next to the pool area. There's all kinds of games in the sand. Ping pong over here. They do have different equipment you can use to build sand castles and it does light up at night. Next to that area, check this out. You can bring your own, I believe you can go to the front desk and ask, but they have checkers tables right here. And I've seen table tennis out through here as well. So they do have all kinds of activities right next to the pool that's in the main center of this courtyard. So everything's based around that pool. You have Starlight, Thunderbird, and Castaway here. And then the main check-in and lobby is straight ahead, which is where we are headed to now. Walking up to the lobby, you can see here, to the right is the Atomic Tonic, Starlight, the pool, and the Thunderbird. This is the main beginning, the start, the focal point of the courtyard. Atomic Tonic Bar here, Starlight, Thunderbird, the pool, and Castaway. So here's a, a bird's eye view of it. This is the lobby. We're standing right there. There's the pool and the different buildings they have. And then they have a separate side, which is home to Beachside, Bayside, the Americana, and the Continental. And there's a lazy river and a pool in this spot too. All the plants they have here, they make it look like oranges. Isn't that cool? Gonna head inside the, the lobby right now. Okay, made it to the lobby on the second floor here. If you guys are wondering if it's busy or not, this should give you a uh, idea. That's the line just to check in, right there. Pretty long line. It's normally not like this. We are up here on the, the second floor. Now down here, that is the Swizzle Lounge, another bar they have. And this is a wonderful bar, the Swizzle Lounge. It doesn't open until five o'clock, but it's pretty much normal for this place. But here is the QR code so you guys can check out the dining offerings. Not sure if they have the drinks on there, but you guys can scan that for the house. I do enjoy this lounge. I've sat here before with Travis and Promise and Abby and 
my brother. I've, I've made many trips to the Swizzle Lounge. Then you make it up to the, the second floor. Lots of things to do and see up here. This is the Jack LaLanne Physical Fitness Studio. If you guys don't know who Jack LaLanne is, look him up. Pretty cool guy. He has his own gym here. And then making our way down further, coming up from the stairs from the lobby, right here is the Galaxy Bowl, the bowling alley they have here. This place is an entire replica of the bowling alley that was used in the Big Lebowski. That's right, the dude. I've never been in here, so I'm just gonna walk in and see what it looks like. Wow, that's it. How cool is that? Entire replica of the big Lebowski. Even the, the shoe and all up here. It's got some cool neon lights, man. This is great. Never been in here before. I'm into it. They do have some chairs over here, a little seating area. I love the old school advertisements. And this actually does connect to the arcade, which I will show you in just a second. So these are the rates for the Galaxy Bowl. If you guys are curious at home, it's $12.99 per bowler, up to six bowlers, 45 minutes of lane time and shoe rental. Pretty cool. All right, so here's the QR code. You guys can check out the, the menu at home because they do have food and beverages here at the, the Galaxy Bowl. Oh, wow, there's a, there's a menu right here. We have a space punch that says the pink planet, a PCM, galactic lemonade, stellar eclipse, the Scorpio, which is me, Pisces rising, apple of Eden, some frozen cocktails here, different wines, all kinds of beer. Nice, and then bites chicken wings, mozzarella sticks, salads, burgers, Beyond Burger, steak sandwich, bratwurst hoagie, and they have a Coca-Cola cake. That's really cool, $5 Coca-Cola cake. That's classic. I like on the outside here, they have some, some bowling memorabilia along the walls. And then right over here is the arcade I was talking about. This is the, the Game-O-Rama is what this is called. And I was kind of hoping they would have some old school arcade games in here. Mostly new, newer games. They do have ski ball So sort of, sort of old school and some pinball, but you can see right here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Jurassic Park arcade game right there. So kind of new and old but continuing down the the hall here now this is the fun in the sun rec center they have you can use this to rent out for different parties and everything for halloween horror nights in the past they have used this rec center for different experiences this is where the stranger things experience was for halloween horror nights and we're going to be looking down at the bayliner diner this is all the seating for the Bayliner Diner. Lots of seating in here. I recommend eating at the Bayliner Diner. You also get to watch old school advertisements and commercials on the big screen while you eat. Just adds to the ambiance. One of the many things I love about this resort, completely immersed in that mid-century time period, atomic age. I love it. And if you're curious about the food here at the Bayliner Diner, there is all kinds of different options they have. Beyond Burgers, they have burgers, they have sandwiches, they have wraps, they have pizza, flatbreads, ahi tuna bowl, stir fry, salads, I mean, you name it, they've got it in here. And they also have a grab and go, which has the natural foods and dietary options. So gluten-free options are here and then they have a regular grab and go. And this is also where you can pick up the s'mores kit. So if you're gonna use the fire pits outside, this is where you're definitely gonna stop. You can get a whole kit for your s'mores. Now looking at the map, trying to figure out exactly where we are. 
We're gonna be right over in this area right now. We just did a loop around the lobby. We came from this area and now we're gonna be towards the Continental Americana beachside and bayside area, which is home to the pool and the lazy river here. Also a bonus for staying on property here, you can walk to Volcano Bay. Check that out. You don't have to take a bus to Volcano Bay. You can just walk straight there. Here's another advertisement for the Hideaway Bar and Grill, which is right over here where we are headed to. We're gonna walk out this second floor exit. From this area, there's a path you can take straight to the pool. Now, from here, this is the Americana building. This is the Continental. That's the Beachside Tower and the Bayside Tower. Now, from the lobby and the Bayliner Diner, right over here you do have where you can roast marshmallows. It's a fire pit. They have a big one over here. They have more seating area here. There's another fire pit right there. And then all of this transforms into a beach area. And let me show you what it looks like from the beach, the view of Volcano Bay, right past the hideaway bar there. You can see the volcano right there. Epic. If you're in that pool right there, you can see the volcano throughout the day while it erupts. It's also where the Lazy River is. So this is the pool here. The Lazy River is right there. How amazing is that? Now from the bowling alley upstairs in the Jack LaLanne workout area, the fitness studio, there is a Starbucks here in the lobby and they have mermaids from the Wikiwachi area of Florida. There's actually a mermaid lagoon in Florida you can visit and that's where these mermaids are from. So the Galaxy Bowl is straight up these stairs and the Starbucks is directly underneath on the other side of that staircase and the fountain just to kind of show you guys where it is. Now there's also a Universal gift shop which has the logo from the 60s of Universal Studios. That's the old Universal Studios logo that was used around the, the era of the 60s. But inside this gift shop you, you have Cabana Bay Beach Resort specific merchandise which is always a favorite thing of mine to see resort specific merchandise. Bathrobes here, mugs, t-shirts, you name it. You can even get the Galaxy Bowl bowling shirt, which I do have. I actually have that, that shirt. But they also throw in regular Universal merchandise in here all throughout, including Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I love this lobby. Now, normally it's not this busy with the line for the check-in and everything. So definitely want to stop by and, you know, take in some of this. You definitely want to stop by and take in some of the essence of the lobby. So it'll kind of set the mood for your, for your trip and your stay here. It's kind of a blast from the past. Well, we came, we saw, we took care of business here today at Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando Resort. I'm glad I got to show you guys the resort and kind of point out some of my favorite things here. Definitely my favorite place to stay in Orlando so far. Still got a couple other places I want to stay, but as of right now, this is my favorite place to stay in all of Orlando. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at the Cabana Bay Beach Resort at Universal Orlando Resort, tell them World of Micah sent you. See you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye.